So there's been a lot of conversation around streaming, around games as a service, how Microsoft is putting their games everywhere, and just how xCloud itself is going to work in the near future. People say game streaming is not going to be the way of the future. They also talk about data caps being the number one thing that's going to hold us back from a streaming future because if we don't have the data, how are we going to be able to play our favorite games over a streaming service? But there is one thing that people do not realize when they talk about the streaming future. And it's one big thing that I think a lot of people overlook and I at least think it will alleviate the problems that some people will have with an all streaming future or just a streaming future in general. Let's talk about it. What up everybody, it's your boy Gaming Forte or Nautical. Welcome back to another video. So let's talk about the one thing that people aren't thinking about and that's those data caps. Those data caps are a real hindrance to streaming going forward. But what if I was to tell you that when you stream games, you don't have to really worry about your data cap being hit as hard as you normally would, at least with the initial upfront cost of downloading the game. Because with streaming, there is no downloading of the game. You're streaming it from a local hub or a central hub that's gonna allow you to just parse out that data over time. So instead of downloading a 80 gig game and having to play that locally on your system, you're gonna be parsing out that information over time. So you'll still probably end up using about that same amount of bandwidth or at least that type of data length, but it won't be all at once. It will be a situation where you'll be able to go in, try the game out, Maybe you don't even like the way the game plays in a streaming atmosphere. Maybe you want to play the game locally on your hardware. So you're not being tasked with this install up front to actually try these games out. So streaming will always have its place, I believe. And I also think it's just going to really help those people that do have data caps try these games in a streaming atmosphere. We all know streaming is going to be very taxing when it comes to your data caps, but at least you're not paying the upfront cost of downloading a full game right from the beginning. Games like Gears of War 4 with all of the updates is over 115 gigs. Who wants to use 115 gigs on a game that they may not even finish? Once you download it, you're done. But if you're streaming the game, let's say you get halfway through chapter one or chapter two and you decide that I don't want to play Gears of War anymore. It's not the type of game for me. Well, you haven't dedicated 115 of your gigs of your data cap towards that endeavor. I truly believe this is going to give people a lot of flexibility and learning and trying to see what games are viable for a streaming platform versus that they want to play on their system natively. And like I said earlier, you do not have the upfront cost of using all your data to play a game that you probably only going to put five hours into or two hours into. You don't have as much data and we don't know how ISPs are going to restrict that going forward. So streaming will be even more viable for those people in that type of situation. But if you agree with me, let's have a conversation down in the comment section. And if you disagree with me, let's also have that conversation down there. I just think this is a situation and a conversation that people aren't having. And I always try to look at it and see what is the best situation that could come from this instead of always saying, no, they can't do this. And no, they can't do that. Let's talk about the things they can do. So it's your boy Gaming Forte or Nautical. <laughs> and I appreciate you watching this video. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Like the video if you like the content. It always helps out the channel a lot. And share this video with all your friends on social media. It really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.